Hey there, Revlian listeners. So recently I had one of my nurses ask me a question about push-dose epinephrine, and that is basically what happens if we don't have the cardiac ampule of epi available because we can't always just crack a crash cart open. So there's two solutions to this. The first is, is that you can have pharmacy pre-make these uh, push-dose epi syringes and just have them in the Pixis and I think that's basically the best recommendation because then they're labeled, you know what they are, and they're ready to go. And you don't have to open up a crash cart. But if not, and all you have available is the vial of epinephrine, the thing to realize here is that for every ml, you have a thousand micrograms of epinephrine. And so the 10 to 1 dilution you have to create, you have to do it twice. So take a 10 cc saline syringe, get rid of one cc and draw up one cc of this epinephrine in a vial. And that gives you a 10 to one dilution, which is represented by the red syringe, which is 100 micrograms per ml. That's still too much epi per ml. And so what you do is you take a second saline syringe, get rid of one cc, and you drop one cc of that red syringe in this infographic into that uh, syringe and you now get another 10 to 1 dilution, which gets you down to 10 micrograms per ml, which is the green syringe, which is what you want to be at. So if you're in a pinch, don't want to open up a crash cart, pharmacy hasn't pre-made syringes for you, this is how you do a dilution of push-dose epi from a vial. It basically requires two steps, and hopefully this infographic helps. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.